we are starting chapter that is electric charges and field first of all uh, can anyone define me what is electric charge can anyone define me what is charge can anyone define me what is charge can anyone define me what is charge please please try what is charge let me tell you charge is something fundamental which is produced due to deficiency of electrons that is whenever transfer of electron take place that is whenever transfer of electrons take place then charge is produced first of all second is that we can also say that what is the effect what is the whenever charge is produced which type of effect effect which will be produced wo kaun sa effect produce karega to charge jo hota hai majorly do effect produce karta hai ek hamara electric effect hota hai and magnetic effect magnetic effect charge produce karta hai charge produce kaise hota hai electron ke transfer se aur charge kaun sa effect show karega hamara object mein wo electric aur magnetic effect jo aage hum log pad rahe hote hain electricity and magnetism chapter mein wo charge ki karan hi aata hai ठीक है यहां तक ना सबसे पहले चार्ज का ट्रांसफर में बेसिक एग्जांपल लेते हैं सपोज सपोज एक हमारे पास रॉड है इसको कहते हैं इबोनाइट रॉड इबोनाइट रॉड वी हैव वन इबोनाइट रॉड एंड फर फर जस्ट एक वुल टाइप का मटेरियल है फर अगर दोनों को रब किया जाए तो बेसिक नेचर का प्रॉपर्टी ऐसा है कि जो इबोनाइट रॉड होता है हमारा हाँ क्वेश्चन ओके 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 आई विल ट्राई आई विल ट्राई टू टीच इन इंग्लिश ओनली ओके 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 सपोज सपोज वी आर रबिंग एबोनाइट रॉड विथ फर हाँ दे द प्रॉपर्टी इन नेचर दैट इबोनाइट रॉड गेन्स निगेटिव चार्ज एंड द फर गेन्स पॉजिटिव चार्ज वॉट डिज इट मीन सर प्लीज इंक्रीज योर पेन साइज लिटिल विथ ओके 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 पेन साइज आई थिंक आई हैव टू फिर गो बैक बैक ओनली इज इट नॉट विजिबल टू यू ऑल और फेसिंग प्रॉब्लम मेजर प्रॉब्लम इफ यू कैन एडजस्ट फॉर टूडे देन प्लीज एडजस्ट ओके सर ओके दिस थैंक यू थैंक यू thank you now what i have taken one example like that that if we rub this two material by nature ebonite rod gets gets negative charge and fer gets positive charge what does it mean negative charge on ebonite what does it show it shows that it has gained electron and it has lost loose electron got it that means in atomic level we can say that mass of ebonite rod will increase that is mass will be m plus dm dm is the mass gained due to the electron though it will be very less a very negligible as compared to the mass of ebonite rod but at when we are talking about an atomic level it will be significant and if, if it is asked it will uh, mass will increase or decrease we will say that mass will increase and in case of fur mass will be m minus dm like that now let me take once one more example and i will uh, i have uh, prepared one chart also in that chart uh, then that chart you can see which will gain electron which will lose the electron in next or third slide you can see that now let me take one more example if we are taking glass rod we are taking glass rod and we are rubbing it with silk glass rod and we are rubbing it with silk what does it happen that glass rod by nature gains charge uh, sorry uh, get positive charge and silk get negative charge what does it mean it has loosed its electron and it has gained its electrons okay one one thing important which will gain or which will lose it depends upon uh, its nature or it can be said with respect to bonding chemical bonding also first of all 
we have seen this is first method of charging by rubbing we will discuss it later till now anyone has any problem you can discuss with me i have shown in this image you can see that when electron and protons are equal that is uncharged body if electrons number decreases with respect to proton number then that means proton number increases that means it will gain positive charge if electron number becomes more than proton that means it has gained electron that we have taken earlier example of ebonite rod for, uh, we have seen uh, silk that it has gained electron that's why and also we can see that here now when we are talking about charge we are talking about charge now let us discuss what is charge is scalar or vector can anyone dis uh, uh, tell me uh, charge is scalar or vector can anyone tell me it is scalar or vector please tell me it is scalar or vector charge is scalar quantity oh uh, good 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 nandi uh, charge is scalar quantity good charge is scalar quantity it doesn't need any direction to define its uh, clearly so charge is scalar quantity and one more thing when we are talking about charge in class 10th you will learn that i is equal to current is equal to charge by time we can say that q is equal to i into t from this formula since we know that current is taken as fundamental quantity current is taken as fundamental quantity is taken as fundamental quantity current is taken as fundamental quantity if current is taken as fundamental quantity then charge unit and dimension what will we we can say that unit of current is ampere and time unit is second we can say that it unit which unit will be ampere second ampere second or we say it as coulomb on the respect of scientist coulomb and coming to dimension what will be its dimension we can say that dimension of current is either i or a we can say that i and time dimension t so dimension of charge will be i t and unit will be ampere second or coulomb any doubt till now it is si unit remember dear friends it is si unit we are talking about si unit when we are talking about cgs unit what will be its cgs unit let me uh, tell you hmm. cgs unit cgs unit of charge now uh, i am telling about cgs unit of charge cgs unit of cgs unit cgs unit of charge is esu electrostatic unit and there is one relation one coulomb is equal to 3 into 10 to the power 9 is esu is equal to 1 by 10th of emu emu is electromagnetic union of charge and my dear friend there is a, a good uh, a interesting amazing relation that when we uh, take ratio of emu uh, unit of charge and uh, we take esu unit of charge and we take ratio of it then we get value equal to speed of light though it is uh, it will we will get value like this 3 into 10 to the power 8 you should remember this relation also okay this is cgs unit of charge and this is a uh, electromagnetic unit of charge and this is relation between this two unit okay now in this chart what i am showing that these are the object when we are rubbing each other which will positive charge and which which will be uh, negative charge is shown in this figure you can see that glass rod and silk what will happen it will take positive charge and it will take negative charge like that for woolen cloth with ebonite rod it will gain negative charge we have taken earlier example also like that these are a uh, few examples you can remember these four at least these are important okay now anyone i has any problem till here you can ask with me any problem till now 
any problem till now anyone has any problem till now you can ask with me discuss with me any problem mm, let me take it uh, no, thank you thank you thank you one question i have one question then. if you do, if if you all don't have any problem then i have one problem let me ah okay okay i have one problem i ask one i am asking one question from you all oh. uh, suppose suppose i have suppose i have two object object one has charge of 2 coulomb and object two has charge of minus 2 coulomb minus 2 coulomb can anyone tell me which object has more charge one or two can anyone tell me what a uh, one anyone any other example which object has more charge one or two can anyone tell me what one 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 all are telling one any other answer any other answer now dear student let me tell you if question is that we have more charges then you should ask frequently you can you have to say frequently that both are equal never one or two because magnitude of both charges are equal never think mathematically no no mathematically these two are equal no mathematics that plus 2 and minus 2 we can say that it is greater no like not like that in physics plus 2 charge and minus 2 charge both are magnitudely equal we can't say which is greater or which is less we, we have not think like mathematics okay so they all are equal they both are equal in magnitude we can't compare with them okay got it what it dear friends okay sir ah good Now, till now, what we have learned, uh, we can discuss. Uh, what till now, what we have done that we have seen. Let me check uh, what is problem. Mm. Mm. Now, what has happened now? Till now, what we have seen. We have seen till now what we have seen that that. Uh, uh what is charge basic property uh, we have seen that what is its unit and dimension we have uh, seen that now if we are knowing about what is charge now the question arises how to detect charge how to detect charge how can we detect which charge is positive which charge is negative which charge is positive then which one is greater we can compare like that one charge is plus 2 and one charge is plus 4 we can compare like that ki plus 4 charge is more than plus 2 charge if negative we can compare that minus 4 coulomb and minus 2 coulomb which one is greater we will say minus 4 is more greater than minus 2 got it we have to think in respect of magnitude we have to not think like mathematically okay so if we have to find which which charge which of the object has positive charge or negative charge and positive then which has greater magnitude than which one then there are few methods there are few instrument to measure it this instrument i have mentioned in this slide you can see here these are gle that is gold leaf electroscope electrometer voltmeter ballistic galvanometer these are instrument you have to remember just remember the names only one examples of gle since it is i uh, mentioned your ncert book also you have to take a uh, learn few uh, examples of it gle now let me take one example and show you all how we can measure a charge which is positive or negative or positive then which is greater positive which is less positive like that now let me take one example if suppose i have one object one object which is having charge of 4 coulomb a uh, a uh, uh, negative charge let me take a minus 4 minus 2 coulomb charge and we are touching this object this object we are touching this object with 
the plate of surface of GLE. This is surface of GLE. What will happen? This negative charge will get transferred to the surface of GLE to this metallic rod. This is metallic rod, and it will move to the leaf of made up of gold. Here, both the leaf will gain same charge, either positive or the negative. If we are keeping here charge a negative. Then we can say that they are getting uh, they they both will get what same charge. So we can say that we have uh, touched minus two coulomb. We will measure the degree of deflection. That is degree of deflection. Degree of deflection. Now we take another body having negative charge. We are not paying. Uh, any charge it is having a negative charge suppose minus 4 coulomb what will happen deflection will be more degree of deflection will increase degree of deflection will increase now we will now we can say that if degree of deflection increases we will say that this object has this object has more charge as compared to first object this way we can compare the charge of two objects that which one is greater and which one is less if they both are of same nature either positive or either negative got it this way we can compare the two charges with the help of degree of deflection degree of deflection degree of deflection of gold leaf now this way we can measure the charge which one is greater and which one is measure the charge measure the charge means we can know which is greater and which is less measure means greater or less greater or less we can measure like that now if we have to measure it is positive or negative how we will measure it now what we will do we do that we take gle first of all what we will do that we take gle suppose first of all we touch it with a object which we know it has positive or negative let us suppose we are bringing ebonite rod here ebonite rod it is rubbed with fur we know that when ebonite rod is rubbed with fur it will get negative charge now when we touch ebonite rod with surface of gle what will happen it will gain negative charge and the leaf will deflect first of all first of all what we have done we have done that in gle in gle what we have done we have made gle negative charge like this like this we have ne ne made negative charge like this now we take the unknown object this is unknown object unknown object whose charge we have to find it is positive or negative what do we do we bring this object we bring this object and touch it with the surface of gle what will happen now we will observe the gle how we will observe we will see if the deflection of the gle will decrease decrease we will say that this object has positive charge if if deflection decreases then positive charge and if deflection increases deflect deflection increases like this suppose deflection here we can see that here in uh, 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 let me check um, now if we touched it and we see that the deflection is increased like this then we can say that the object which we have touched it is having negative charge because earlier it was negative and deflection increased then we can say that the object has negative charge and if deflection decreases you will say that it is having a positive charge by this way we can measure object we can know whether it is positive charge or negative charge or secondly with the help of gle we can find that what we can find that which has more charge either positive or negative we can find the relative charge compared to charges okay compare two charges these are the two most important uses of gle any problem dear student till now
any one problem having problem you can ask any one problem any one has any problem you can ask please student make some interactive session hmm okay okay good good now now we will discuss here till now what we have done we will uh, we can uh, we know that what we have done till now what we have done that uh, we have found, we have discussed about charges we have discussed about what to, how to measure charges and how to uh, find which is positive or negative or compare two charges now uh, there are few example you might have learned in your uh, plus 2 schooling also that aircraft example why the wheels of aircraft it is made conducting aircraft wheels are conducting you might have learned in school also plus 2 second example why when we are rubbing uh, dry hair uh, we are rubbing dry hair when we are rubbing dry hair dry hair and comb and comb you might have seen the particles get, get attracted what happened first of all first example in aircraft the wheels are made conducting why because if it is made conducting what will happen the extra charge extra charge extra charge which will develop in aircraft or buses or trucks buses or trucks bus or trucks like that carry van in carry van what happens if suppose a carry van is carrying a uh, inflammable material like petrol what will happen if somehow it gains charges like that through rubbing or through air resistance it gains some charges suppose positive or negative since it is carrying a inflammable material there is chance that of getting any hazardous it may get any accident also like that what we do we we made two things first of all either we we hang one metallic rod uh, metallic rope with ground or we make the wheels of that vehicle conducting so that wheels of uh, that vehicle conducting or some metallic rod hanging with road so that the extra charges which are developing through uh, rubbing or air drag that will be conducted to ground okay that's why these are the famous question which are asked in plus 2 exams also dry hair the same example dry hair that's why we say that in dry hair what happens when we are when we are saying that a dry hair when we are rubbing a comb and dry hair what happens comb get some charge let us say positive charge if it get positive charge what happens after that it attracts the neutral paper also neutral paper paper we see have seen that it attracts paper though paper has no charge but it get attracted with the comb got it that's why sometimes it asks in question that for a repulsion or attraction which is a better or good test of a ball object having charges what we have seen that the object attraction can occur between charge and uncharged object also but repulsion can't happen between uncharged and charged object repulsion always take place between charge and and charged object which we will discuss in our further question also now we are discussing about till now what we have discussed we have talked about charges and we have talked about methods of charging or methods of uh, we have discussed about how to detect charge and few examples of aircraft or uh, vehicles of it in flower materials also now we are discussing here what are the method of charge dear friends there are three methods of charging can anyone tell me what are the methods of charging can anyone tell me what are methods of charging first one can anyone tell me please reply can anyone tell me what are the method of charging tell tell first one by friction charging by friction charging by conduction good 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 and third one third one 
induction induction charging by induction ah good 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 okay we know that there are three methods okay a uh, friction method charging by friction charging by conduction charging by induction here we will dealing with sir by more polarization uh, induction and exactly there are few methods also polarization also but in our physics we are only uh, working with three methods polarization so we can develop charges which we uh, create to electric field okay we will discuss it uh, in further topics uh, by polarization with the help of electric field we can produce some charges also which we will discuss later okay got it okay sir ah uh, first method friction or uh, don't worry i will cover every every topic every section also don't worry polarization i will uh, discuss after uh, i think uh, second or uh, second lecture i will discuss it there only polarization uh, we are talking about dielectric then we are talking about polarization now friction in case of friction friction charging what have earlier example you are remember ebot rod rubbing of ebonite rod with fur ebonite rod with fur what we have seen that they are gaining negative charge and fur gains positive charge this is the method of friction how we are rubbing each other this the charges developed here is due to frictional method of rubbing okay we are not dealing with it uh, because it is and your questions will never ask from it only you have to remember uh, the object of uh, nature of charge what it gains positive or negative that only which i have mentioned that uh, that uh, chart also we are discussing about it is conduction let me discuss uh, with some example conduction method of charge conduction method of charge now let me take one example suppose i have one charge object it has charge q may be positive charge we are not taking talking about charge it will be obviously positive let us take one example like that suppose we have one object hanging with a insulated wire which has charge which is neutral no charge what we do that we take this charge object this charge object and we touch this charge object object with the neutral object what will happen this charge of the q will transfer the electrons to with will start transferring these electrons to this neutral object let some time what will happen this neutral object will gain some charge let us say it gains charge q dash then the object original object which we have taken here how much charge will remain here here the charge will remain will be q minus q dash this charge produced on the cost of the original charge this is method of conduction first point the new charge which is developed q dash it is produced in the cost of original charge cost of this it reduces this amount from original charge second important point we can say that charge is produced q dash and q from q both have same nature either positive it is positive then positive charge will develop same nature if it is negative then negative charge will develop that means we can say that this one was positive so the q dash will be also positive same nature in conduction got it this is conduction method of charging and friction method of charging third will be induction method of charging which will discuss here now let me discuss induction method of charging we will discuss here induction method induction method of charging now induction method now let me take one example suppose suppose i have taken one neutral ball it is hanging on a insulator rod here it is insulated rod rod this is insulated insulated rod now let me take one example i have taken one charge object here 
it is having charge q let us take charge positive but it is no not touching no touch dear friends you compare what happened in earlier example was conduction there what we did we touched this object with uncharged object in induction we are not touching it with uncharged object what will happen this will attract the negative charge from the neutral object and repel the others that means positive that it will repel positive charge what will happen here the charges will be separated separated in first step first step now what happen this object this object here we will see that one side we are getting positive negative charge and one side we are getting positive charge and here it is q dash q what we did now in second step what we did is that we connected this side with earthy ground what will happen this will happen that this positive charge either we will say that electron will come from ground and neutralize this positive charge or this positive charge go to ground the whole object charges having negative nature that will be here one thing is important to note that we can see that here that that original charge which we have taken or having positive charge and the charges which is induced it is having negative nature q dash and q dash is given by minus q 1 by 1 by k by this formula what is k k is dielectric constant we will discuss about it in later topic dielectric constant it is a uh, it is a characteristic property of any material we will define it earlier uh, later when we we will study about coulomb's law then we will uh, define it and we will also uh, study dielectric material uh, of value of some material this is method of charging what we can note here first point the charges developed q dash it will be it is developed by q and second point the q dash will be of opposite nature not same nature it will be of opposite nature if it is positive then the charge developed will be negative and if it is negative then it will be positive like that any problem problem till now in this method i let me clear to you let me clear you. i have taken one and charge it through induction we can take two ball also that i will discuss in some of the question which i have taken here any uh, question till now any problem till now you can discuss with me any problem with me with a uh, uh, concept you can discuss with me dear friend uh, make some interactive session discuss with me you have any question you can ask with me ha ah. nandini no sir good 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 uh, you should uh, if you have anyone have any question you can ask through chat box also no worry you can ask question from chat box also hmm now let us come to to move further now let us move further till now what we have at this i was talking about this only i was discussing what is induction we have we have learned this this is you can uh, you can uh, just uh, have a look on the Uh, that uh, concept which you have written here, you can see that that uh, a imparts uh, about, uh, without touching. You can see that without touching, without actual contact between A and B, and uh, we can see that A shall not lose any charge. They we can't say that the charge produced Q dash on the cost of Q, no cost. We can't say like that. The value of the original charge, no change. No change in no change in total charge. 
which we see in a conduction. There was a change in conduction, but in induction, value of the original charge never decreased. For the difference between induction and induction. Okay? It was just a reason for you. Now, we have discussed, we have discussed about charges. Secondly, discussed about the unit and dimension also. Method, we have discussed about how to detect detection of we have deal with G gold electroscope. After that, we have discussed about uh, we have discussed about method of charging, three method of charging. Three method of charging we have discussed. Three method friction method, friction method of charging, conduction method, and induction method. Third and most important point, which is most important for your exam, unit exam, that is properties of charge. This is most important section of, of this that is properties of charge. There are few properties, I think three to four properties in NCRT, but I will take uh, approximate seven to eight properties which are asked in unit previous year paper. And I will take seven to eight uh, of properties which I most understand ever done today. First, 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 we discuss first. First that charge is always additive. I have mentioned in our next slide also, charge always additive. Additive, that means charge always adds up algebraically. Algebraic addition, algebraically addition. Suppose I have charge, I got plus, uh, plus two coulomb, uh, minus three coulomb, plus four coulomb, minus one coulomb. And we are talking about what will be the net charge. Net charge. What will say that Q net? What will say two coulomb plus minus three coulomb plus four coulomb? plus minus one coulomb like that. That means what we are doing, we are just adding. You can see here, we are just adding. We are just adding here. So you can see, we are adding here. You can see we are adding here. Only adding. These are negative to nature of charge. These are negative due to nature of charge. What will it give? We can see here, it will give two coulomb. That is net charge is positive. But what we did, we have added algebraically, algebraically that we have considered sign also. This is first property of charge that it is additive and it is gets added algebraically. We can see here. That it is algebraically added. That is, we can see that one to two and two to left and it depends it is positive we have to write here positive if it is negative we have to write negative like that earlier example which i was taking okay now before let me make that uh, question let me take question question is very good now we uh, come back to a topic I think uh, nothing will distract us. We will do. We will together do. Now, first question which we are discussing was that uh, we can see here. We can see here the question was uh, question was we are having five charges. Five charges B, C, D. E. We can see that this pair of charges that was B, C, and D, e, and D, E. B, C, and D. These are what they are doing. They are showing repulsion. B, C and D. We can say that either B will have positive or C will have positive or B will have negative or C will have negative because they are showing the person. D, v, D has positive, then E also will have positive. If D has negative, then E also will have negative. That means they both will have same charge. One conclusion we can take from this, uh, this statement that this pair of charges are showing the person. Got it? Second, this pair of charges, they are showing attraction. 
what we can say from here a b a b c e and a e these are having attraction that means if they are positive other will negative if it is negative then it will be positive by using this concept you have to solve this question and find which of the charge is possible on a and i think this is homework for all my dear student and i will ask the answer from you all in the next class i think tomorrow only so i think you have to take a screenshot of this question i will ask what you have uh, what you have got answer what charges you have got on a please uh, try with uh, try this with uh, from your side at home okay will you try or i solve this question will you will try or i solve this question anyone anyone having that spirit okay 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 one reply let me let me let me check hmm very good very good very good very good few students are very much interacting i am i am very much impressed with you you uh, you should interact i am very getting very much happy that you are very much interactive students now second second question let me discuss here second question it is telling that this example this question we have solved earlier which is the sure check we have seen that we have seen that repulsion was the sure check i have discussed earlier also we have seen that repulsion was the sure check because i have discussed with you that uncharged object also get attracted uncharged object also get attracted but between two charges having between two object having charges then only they can repel each other with each other we have seen earlier also we have seen that example of comb and piece of paper i have shown you that uncharged paper get attract with the comb but repulsion is only possible if both of the object has charges maybe same a uh, positive or negative or negative both of them are having so we say that surest check is repulsion answer will be repulsion okay third question third question third question we can discuss here third question is that third question you read third question is that how will you give equal and opposite charge on two identical metal that is two identical metal on a insulated stand like this you can use charge rod we are having one charge rod also let us take positive charge but touching of the rod is not allowed okay the question is telling that touching is not allowed that means induction method touching is not allowed it is telling that with the help of this rod having positive charge without touching it with the balls how will you generate the charges on this balls and there is also one condition that the charges develop should be equal and opposite that means one object has charge positive induced and other has charge negative and we know that if we will induce them separately both of them will get negative charge that we know so how we will induce charge let me take one example and so i show you i show you now what we will do we take this charge of this uncharged object here like this and we take another uncharged object just like this and with slightly touching together uh, dear friends remember both are identical just i have drawn by mistakely it is showing uh, big but both are identical okay now when we are bringing this this charged rod here let us take positive charge what will happen it will induce charge here that will attract electrons to its side and repel positive charge and the positive charge will go here why because positive charge from here will jump to this side and it will take move go to maximum distance from this and maximum distance will be from here to other end here and the positive charge will go here if if now if we separate this two of this balls 
what we will get we will get the two equal at opposite charges like this and this was the question okay any problem till now any problem till now now uh, what we were discussing remember we were talking about earlier we were talking about properties only this was just question for your practice we were talking about practice uh, we were discussing about properties of charges hana first properties we have discussed that was additive property you remember after that just few questions came now let us go to the properties of charges anyone has any problem till now can anyone uh, tell me anyone has any problem till now can anyone tell me any problem till now good 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 please please i request you all of you to should interact nandini is always interacting and all of you should interact here okay now first property we have discussed here let us take second property second property second property of charge second property of charge is charge is that charge charge is that charge charge is always conserved let me take uh show you in next slide charge is conserved how will say the what is meaning of charge is con conserved it means that like like energy like mass charge is always conserved how it is conserved let me take some one example let me take one example and i show you how is charge conserved i think uh, now second property let me discuss here second property second property second property is charge is charge is conserved can so charge is conserved what does it mean charge is conserved it means that look here it is very much good example i am giving here now suppose suppose we were having ebonite rod we were having ebonite rod and fur initially both of them has no charge we can say that q net will be zero no charge now secondly what we did we charge them through friction we are rubbing each other what will happen ebonite rod suppose it has three negative charges for will get what how much charges plus three charge that means we can say plus minus 3 unit let us say 3 coulomb it will get plus 3 coulomb okay what will be the q net q net will be minus 3 plus 3 that will be zero we can see here charge is conserved earlier total charges of the system of ebonite rod and for this system this charge is always constant we can see here earlier is what zero and finally it is also zero no change of charges this is second property which we have discussed here that is charge is conserved we can see here we can see here okay now let me let me let me uh, discuss here first of all first of all here a uh, few points are mentioned well, let me check let me let me take a uh, few points are mentioned that uh, a charge is just like a mass just like a mass we can see that mass of the body is always positive we know 2 kg 3 kg we never say minus 2 kg or minus 5 kg like that is always positive but charges can be positive or negative like that only this property we have discussed now that for any isolated system which we have taken example here also for any isolated system which i was taking example of ebonite rod which i was taking example of ebonite rod with fur i have shown you all that when we rub each other then net charge of earlier initial charge and final charge is same we have seen here got it second property clear now 
we come back to third property and my dear friend it is very important property and i tell you in your nit exam nit exam from this property from this property i think two to three times question has came directly two to three times direct question and i expect from this question can come also this year also may it come because it is most important property of charge let me discuss it very clearly now what is meaning of quantization you please concentrate i think uh, this is a most important now what is quantization now let me discuss what is quantization what is quantization can anyone tell me what is quantization anyone any idea what is quantization like that any idea quantization anyone has any idea either you tell yes or no no problem anyone has any idea of quantization what is meaning of quantization please 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 interact interact make interactive session hmm good 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 okay 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 now now okay now quantization of the charges it is the most important property it is most important property quantization of charges let me discuss here quantization of charge now if you go to uh, suppose let's uh, suppose a banana shop you go to a banana shop will you tell that i need 2 by 3 banana like that i need half banana will you tell like that either you will tell that i need half dozen banana half dozen banana or you will tell i need one dozen banana like that you will never tell that i need 2 by 3 banana that means there are some rules which we can discuss that is we can say that we can say that if any quantity we can say that if any quantity uh, uh yeah we can say that if any physical quantity any physical quantity it can take some integral value suppose suppose i say that banana for banana banana i what will i tell i will take some integral multiple that let us take a natural number maybe two banana three banana four banana we will multiply some natural number let us take n we can say that we will multiply a uh, banana with some natural number that is two banana three banana four banana six banana 12 banana like that what we will say that if any physical quantity it has value which is integral multiple what it is integral multiple of integral multiple of integral multiple of some basic unit some basic unit or minimum value minimum value then we say that this physical quantity is quantized quantized and this minimum value it is called quanta what we tell quanta quanta the minimum value what i have told i have told that physical quantity value will be integral multiple and is integer and is integer integral multiple of of some minimum value some minimum value and that minimum value which we are talking this minimum value this minimum value is called quanta quanta and it was discovered by millikans millikans oil drop experiment oil drop experiment that for a charge minimum value is electronic charge that is e this is a minimum value so and it was discovered by milkens oil drop experiment so we can say that value of the charge physical quantity will be n into 
e like this where n will be a integral integer got it this we can say okay now now we can say that this is the minimum value so we say that if a minimum and other milkens prove that milkens prove that milkens prove that the minimum value of charge minimum value of charge will be a minimum value of charge will be e so we say that charge is quantized and we represent it like this q is equal to any q is equal to any and e is charge on electron okay now let me take one example if i tell you find if 3.2 micro coulomb charge or i say 4.6 micro coulomb charge which of the following charge is possible and which is not possible how we will find it out it what we how we will find that out we will say since we know q is equal to any what we will do we will take the example that is 3.2 charge given Into micro coulomb, that means ten to the power minus six is equal to n into charge on electron will be one point six into ten to the power minus nineteen. From here, we will find that n is equal to what? N will be two into ten to the power two into ten to the power. What will happen? Ten to the power how much? Thirteen. And this is an integer. Integer. so we will say that this charge is possible this is possible if we will take this example 4.6 micro coulomb what will happen let me take here let me take here solve it here hmm. this is last example uh, i am taking here the rest thing we will discuss later now second example second example if we just take q is equal to 4.6 Micro coulomb that means ten power minus six is equal to n n into charge on electron will be one point six into ten to the power minus nineteen coulomb. We'll say that n is equal to four point six into ten to the power minus six uh, by one point six into ten to the power minus nineteen. When we solve it, we'll find that it is not integer, not integer. Some decimal value will come. So we will say that. this charge is not possible because we are not getting integer and by definition and should be always integer so we will say that we will say that it is possible and it is not possible this way we can find and this question have been asked in your neat previous year paper i will show you and uh, further also uh, later okay so thank you